Today I'm making some biscuits in the uh, Better Homes cookbook. It's Biscuit Supreme. And I'm gonna uh, alter it just a little bit. So first we're gonna start out with three cups of flour. All right, so now we have to add one tablespoon of baking powder. One tablespoon of sugar. A teaspoon of salt. Do some pink Himalayan sea salt. They say it's actually good for you. I'm not a big fan of salt, so I like this. Thai dyes, they say, is no good for you. And the tart is three quarters. I can't find my quarter one. Uh, I mean, my three quarters. Or... I don't even know if that exists, the three quarters one. We'll do three of these. So they say preheat the oven to 450. All right. In a large bowl, combine all the things I just uh, combined. And then I'm gonna throw a stick and a half butter. Uh, the stick and a half is uh, the stick is soft. The half a stick is not soft because I forgot that it took three quarters cup. So I just took out one about 45 minutes ago. Right. So I'm gonna put this on slow. Just cutting into butter. I've done this before, so I know how it, how it is. That's the original recipe, and then I'm gonna throw a little something in there. A little garlic powder. A little adobo. Stuff here. Making some chili here. Biscuits for homemade chili. Well, the biscuits are so good. Somebody said, Why don't you make a video about them? What else am I going to do? Turn this up to number two. I like two better. The butter actually goes in between each one until four is just throwing it around. Nice big fork. I start mushing it the stuff in. And we're gonna use rice milk, a cup and a quarter. I'm gonna stir it all around, scrape the sides. And 
you're gonna be able to see the butter chunks that you didn't get. And I just mush them with four. Start, you can see your stuff form this. Just a simple recipe. Everything you have at home, nothing extravagant. We've been making these for years trying to perfect them. One time they'll taste great, sometimes a little dry. So um sometimes I don't measure everything out perfectly. This is how I am. Well, you could perfect it. I believe it. they look good now. I don't need a cookbook anymore. And we have a little sheet. Extra version of oil in it. You can see here a nice chunk of butter. That's what that's what I actually go for. I feel like that's the best biscuits is when you can see little chunks of butter in it. Seems to be the best biscuits. Alright. The bowl. Nothing really sticks to it. These seem a little thick. We'll see how they end up tasting. I try to make them all even so they bake even. This one looks a little small. Here's my daughter standing on the side. All right, let's put them in the oven. They are the best kind of, what do we call them? <laughs> oh, drop biscuits, technically. Oh, biscuits, that's yeah. what they're called. Yeah, these biscuits are the best. They've been cooking for too long. It kind of just turns out a bit. Alright, here's the end result. Here's the biscuits I just took out. And we're going to try them out. Alright, now we're eating the biscuits. And you can make them as dark as you want or as light as you want. This right here makes it a little wet inside. A little more moist. Uh, you can do it a little darker. The edges are always really good crispy. But, um, you know, experiment. See what you like. You can add cheese to them and stuff. Yeah, you can add cheese to them, that which we have before. <clears throat> but we break them up and put them in our chili, as you're going to see. My wife do, and we eat them. Here's mine, I've been eating them. I like to crumble up the biscuits and put them in the chili. Scoop it up, it's delicious.